Hey guys, it's Frankie! I know I haven't done many YouTube videos recently. I've been very busy with, you know, life and Style Code Live and coming back from Big Brother, CBV, and, uh, you know, it's been kind of overwhelming coming back into the real world. And, uh, but today is a very special day. Uh, it's National Coming Out Day. And, you know, part of me feels like this day should be part of the past. Like we shouldn't have to be having International Coming Out Day because it should just be okay to be gay. Like that's what it should be. But unfortunately, it's still necessary. And looking at what's happening with the political elections coming up, it's even more necessary now than ever because depending on who wins, uh, gay rights could be in more jeopardy than ever before. So I would like to share my coming out story with you guys for the first time. So I didn't know that I was gay. Uh, I had feelings for men probably around the time of 18 years old. And that's when I first acted upon them, but never, you know, had sex or anything like that. But um, when I got to college... And I finally, you know, decided that I would be committed to one person, and he was my boyfriend. That's when I knew I was gay. I was 21 years old. I was a senior in college. So kind of late, uh, according to, like, you know, the scope nowadays. But I was 21 years old. And then I came out to my fraternity, and Sigma Phi Epsilon, what's up, Sig Ep? And they were like, cool. What's up? So 16 brothers, you know, in a pledge room, and we stood there, and I told them all, and they were like, okay, cool, whatever. And then the whole fraternity was behind me, immediately. So it was like I had a brotherhood of people who accepted me for who I was. Now, uh, when I was home, I got back home for Christmas um, holiday, and uh, it was being discussed, you know, with my family. And my grandfather, he's back here, if you see him, my grandpa, right there. Uh, this is the Malawi school that I built. And there's grandpa. Um, he was like, all right, everybody, quiet, shut up. Are we going to love him any less because he's gay? And uh, nobody said anything. And it was never an issue. So I know... I owe a huge debt to my grandfather for, he was the patriarch of the family. You know, whatever he said goes. You know, I told Ariana, she was 11 years old and she was like, cool. When do I get to meet your boyfriend? You know, it was like, like to her, it was like no big deal whatsoever because that was the generation. But on uh, National Coming Out Day this year, I would like to uh, support everyone who has decided this is their time to come out. I would like to say, you know, honor everyone who has already come out and say how very scared and saddened I am by the fact that this could be an issue once again. Like everything that we have fought for, all of the gay rights that we have now achieved are again in jeopardy because of the fact that if Donald Trump and Mike Pence win this election, we are back at square zero. We're back at nothing. Um, you know, I got to speak to Tim Kaine and at the um, HRC. It was amazing one-on-one. -on -one. You know, it was an amazing talk that we got to have. And he's a great guy and he understands it and he gets it. The whole point is, and this is the same reason why I support Hillary Clinton with all of my heart. The whole point is equality. Everyone is equal, and we should not be viewed differently because we are gay. I love that we have a day to celebrate the fact that we are out and that we are proud, but the but but we shouldn't need that day, is what I'm saying. Um, I also want to tell you something that I have not gotten to share with anyone publicly because I was locked in the Celebrity Big Brother house when this happened, so... The Orlando shootings, I swept under the carpet. I didn't acknowledge them. 
when they first happened. I was like, you know what? I'm going to continue living my life and I'm not going to say a word. You know, I'm going to have pride on in my house, in my balcony. I'm not going to go to the New York City Pier. I'm just going to live my life as if nothing happened. And I realized that was out of fear. I was afraid to show this tattoo. Oops, this tattoo. <laughs> Walking down the streets of New York City. Um, I was afraid to wear glitter. I was afraid to shine bright like Frankie. And when I was locked in the Celebrity Big Brother house with Bear, uh, I don't know if y'all saw this part, but he took a cup and he smashed it from across the backyard. He shattered a pane of glass. And I walked out and all I saw when I saw that shattered glass was the bullet holes of Pulse nightclub and every single person that was shot to death. And I lost it. I had a total nervous breakdown. And I realized that that's when I had to stand up for who I am. That's when I understood that you can't back down in the face of an enemy, in the face of a terrorist. You have to stand up for who you are. You have to shine bright like a Frankie, and you have to just move forward and continue to be as fierce as you are and be out and be proud for who you are regardless if people knock you down. Now, I don't know how this election is going to turn out, but I will tell you one thing, that regardless of who wins, I'm still going to shine bright like a Frankie. I'm still going to be out and I'm going to be proud because being gay is a part of who I am. It doesn't fully define me at all. So it really should not define the rights that I have. Like the things that I'm allowed to do or not allowed to do should not be defined by my sexual orientation. We should all be equal as human beings on this planet. Men, women, black, white, gay, straight, it does not matter. So, happy National Coming Out Day. I love all of you. I hope that you've learned something from my story and I'm very inspired to hear about your stories. And uh, I hope you just guys, you guys have a nice day. Happy Topless Tuesday. Happy Topless Tuesday. Let's just have a happy Topless coming out Tuesday. I love you guys. See you soon.